Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can save uh, your location and spawn on this location. And we will also uh, work here on some uh, yeah rework on our project. So let's first start with the rework. Open up your map and open up your main map. Save everything up. And here let's delete here the floor which was scaled. And let's just add another landscape here for the beginning, just use here zero and let's make it just 31 quads and let's create this. So that's, uh, this is a bit better here. Now um, if we play, you can see we spawn here inside the character. So let's work on our character blueprint. So open up your main character and go into the viewport and here is the camera. So let's actually get this somewhere here. And let's test this. So now this is much better. So this works, but here at the top we need to uh, make their limited limitation. Or we can actually just make this a bit more out of the body 18, which is okay, I think. Let's get this a bit higher here test this again. So now we can't see the head anymore, the top. So now my values are 68 on the Z and 80 on the right. So this is working. Let's see if we press K we have here our character which is moving perfectly. So let's actually say if we go into the, where is it, into this camera here, we will want to rework some settings. So as you uh, probably saw, if we walk left or right here, the character, there's no animation for this. To actually fix this, we um, want to set, if we go in third person from the character movement, we want to set orientation. So set orientation to movement so it automatically orients to the movement we set to true and from the from self so get self reference we want to um, actually set the use control rotation yaw use controller rotation yaw there it is to false and now if we play and press K, the character rotates true to the direction. And now we can see here it rotates like normal. So if we go left and right it's like this, we can test this. So now this also would work, but uh, this is not good because we can now face our character. So probably we will like to um, set this one here. Oops, sorry. This one here um, again to false, and this one then to true again. So now we swept here between those two, and herefore we can add or maybe come with some animations later. And of course, for the head rotation, this is quite important. So now we can also rotate the head into this direction. But this is all something for the next videos. So let us work now on the spawn. So first, grab here a variable, which will be spawn. And it should be a vector, this is OK. Burn save, get back to your main character. And here in the main character, create uh, the variable, the spawn. And we will event tick now. And we want to get at the actual location where we will spawn. So grab this in and make here a zero. So our default location now will be um, zero showing us. Oh no, here not, but uh, let's grab the character map. And let's actually see why is the spawn. So 
um, yeah, I had there a mistake, so at yours it should be, uh, yeah, say here zero, 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 zero. Now if we start the game, we want to have an other location here on the spawn. So to do this, actually, we need something that is only in the main map present. And this is the player state. For this, we add here a new player state inside our main uh, map. So now this is connected to our main map here, not to the character map. So now to actually activate this, we need to restart the project. So now inside the project, uh, everything is correctly set it up. You can restore your uh, windows here if you like. Um, so now if we hit and play here, I want to save the position. So uh, let's script event and play. And we want to um, save the game then. So to do so, we actually uh, need a save function. So well, let's do everything here in the normal event graph. So first we need a reference to our main character. So we cast to main character. Well, let's say we want this before, so event begin play. So we have instant access to a character. So here it comes from the character. So get player character like this. Now we grab here our uh, character reference. We want to have get world location of the mesh. And we want to save this. So we go into the main character and search for our save function here. So grab, let's, yeah, grab this, except this mail. So we start creating here, and here we want to set our spawn point. So point this together. And let's actually see if we save here some locations. So we have here zero, zero, zero. If we walk now a bit and end play and start again, it should so show you some new values, but it doesn't. So why is this not showing new values here? Uh, this is an easy problem because we have here in the load game not loaded our spawn. So set here the spawn. And I actually want to get a spawn look. Now we hit and we have this new location here. So, like this. And before we continue, we actually need to uh, here also save everything. So, to properly work this variable, we need to uh, get here. So we want to set here our spawn if we save. So this variable is correctly overwritten. And we promote this to a variable which will be spawn. And and load. We do here the same. We get our spawn. And we're setting here the spawn. Like this. Compile and save this. Now if we play, start the game, this value is there. So get back to the main character and let's see where we need to bring this teleport in. Let's test it here first. So get the spawn point, get some print string and connect this to the return. So it says us if we could teleport we see it's true. Let's go into the middle here. Let's start the game and we're in the middle. So this is working. The only thing which is not uh, so good is uh, that 
it's on the construction script, so let's get into the event graph and let's test this here on event possessing. So just when we play this character. So now it's teleporting to this position where um yeah we actually were before. So let's get it back there at the corner. Play at this the new location, we start the game and we're here. So let's just see this for the mail. If we correctly override this, yeah, it's working, so everything's fine. Except when we're sprinting, the head is there in the front. So to fix this, we go here to our camera and we make it a parent socket for the mesh head. And let's actually see if this is working directly. So we start, nope. So we need to connect this to the head and to zero everything out here. And of course we zero this out. So rotate this by 90, this by 90. And grip this in a bit here and a bit top. Or what, which should be okay. Let's test this out here. So now, if we run, we have not anymore this face. So, yeah, this is actually now working good. So, that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or further uh, tips for me, just leave a comment. Have a nice day. Bye.